hello there and welcome to a guide for the 6-0 range spandos method. This guide is aimed at getting people comfortable with the basics of the method, so I won't go into details about any of the optimizations you can make, such as perf looking, but I do plan on making a video that will cover that later. This method is either a 34 or a 35 tick cycle, so it isn't the best method for DPS. There are two others that are better. But this one is by far the comfiest and the most forgiving of all the range methods, which makes it quite popular. With that said, it also does allow for some very in-depth prayer flicking, which makes it pretty ideal for rushing bandos with low stature gear, as you can consistently get kills in around 100k or so of gear once you have some comfort and experience in flicking the boss. Here is a sample inventory that I find very good for people just starting out. Please note that the only reason there are not Bastion Potions in this inventory is that I do not have any. I would highly recommend bringing them if you have them. You will also need one Bandos and one Zamark item while getting KC. Um, an Unholy Symbol is a very nice item just to be able to take with you while getting it and just throw it away as soon as you're in the room. You can also downgrade to Black Dragon Hide if needed, or upgrade to Crystal or Armadillo Armor if you have it. The best weapons to use while doing this are the new Bow of Ferdinand with Crystal Armor, uh, even on Acker it is quite good. But aside from that, a, any crossbow that can use Dragon Diamond Bolts, or even just a Rune Crossbow with standard Diamond Bolts. You could also use Dragonstone Bolts with a Rune Crossbow, it doesn't make a huge difference. The best shield to use is going to be the Twisted Buckler, followed by either word, and then an Arbidil or Zamrak Prayer Book. Beyond that, just equip the Book of the Dead for inventory space. If you don't have a Buckler or a Ward, you may want to bring a Tank Shield while you are learning, but it will not be worth bringing one later on. Similarly, the Serpentine Helm is nice as it allows you to Venom the minions for faster minion kills, but it's really not necessary once you know what you're doing. The Resurrection spells are very nice and very powerful as they offer a flat 0.6 DPS increase, which will account for at least 15 to 20% of your DPS in max gear. They also cut down on the number of 1 HP warrior incidents. Um, the lower your stats are, the more essential these are because it's just a flat increase. Blood Barrage is also a good alternative. A lot of people do prefer it. It makes your trips even comfier. Um, if you're going to bring this, uh, wear Barrow's Gloves and bring at least an occult to ensure you kill the minions, you're going to want to do some armor takeoffs while you're barraging. Here are a few more inventory setups to use as you get more experienced. Again, feel free to upgrade or downgrade as you go. I did mention this before, but full, full carols is also a very good option for armor. Uh, if you ever do take it, bring an extra prayer potion. You will want to start each kill on one of the two tiles labeled start. I will go into more detail about them later. If you are planning to learn to flick the minions during the kill, then I would suggest learning to use the tile in the bottom right corner as it makes the cycle a 35 tick cycle, which means that the minions are going to be attacking at the same time each cycle. If not, you can unmark that tile and instead use the right start tile for the last hit of each cycle. You'll have to take a boss hit at the start of the first kill of your trip. Um, I will end up taking two more because I do not leave that first corner um, late enough. I essentially uh, should have waited there an extra tick. I could have skipped a hit there or even here, but I wasn't taking damage, and I had a good flick cycle on the minion, so I decided not to do that. Um, with that said, I'm not going to be showing clips where I am using this setup again, or prayer flicking like this. Every other clip is going to be in the learner setup with Eagle Eye and also Adamant Darts. Uh, this is just more realistic for a low level, which is what this guide is kind of aimed at. Ideally, you should be getting two kills per dose of Divine Potion and one ultra charge every four um, kills. It might not work out perfectly, but <clears throat> it should work out in general. So if you have to do drink a dose uh, mid-kill, um, it's all right, but try to, try to ration your doses accordingly. This uh, next clip is the actual first tri kill from my um, trip and learning setup. Unfortunately, I did not have a good entrance. <laughs> Um, so I decided not to show it first. Um, this is actually a good example of the 35 tick lap. You'll see in that last corner on the southeast, I stepped all the way into that corner. Uh, this is what makes it a 35 tick instead of a 34 tick. Um, if you're not going to flick, then I would not recommend using this lap, but there's really not a huge difference. 
The reason that this lap is better with flicking is that you'll see the minions are always attacking in the same spots. Like the mage minion will attack right on that corner and then right here again, and that makes it very easy to flick him. And this next clip is going to show the full kill from start to finish. Um, you're going to notice that I am starting not in the left tile, but the right tile. I'm also not going to hit the boss as soon as he spawns. This is going to allow me to not take a hit at the start of the kill. Uh, essentially, the boss is flinching, similar to you know when you attack it with melee after running out of safe spot, um, which means that I'm not going to get attacked. You'll see that he steps a little sideways, and that right when he does so, that's how you know the cycle is perfect. If you go back to that first kill, you'll see that the boss kind of just hung out there for a second before I reached that middle tile on the left wall. Um, but again, that is a result of me leaving that corner too soon. Now, I use that right more starting tile to prevent me getting to the corner too fast. Um, sometimes when I use the left one, if I start moving too soon, I will get there too soon, and I'll leave there too soon. And if I wait a second, I can actually wait too long. So it's easier just to start two tiles over, get there a little bit later. Um, you basically cannot mess it up when you do that. This is also an example of the 34 tick lap. You will see that I'm returning to the same tile that I started on, as opposed to stepping all the way in that corner like you saw in the last clip. Um, again, this isn't a huge difference maker, but it does save a little bit of time. You'll notice that once the boss dies, I hit each minion once just a venom it before I start killing one. In this next clip, you'll notice I'm starting on the left of the two start tiles I showed you before. Um, I'm going to hit the boss as soon as he spawns, and you'll see that I'm going to take a hit in that bottom left corner. I would not recommend this while learning, but I would recommend doing this um, assuming that your supplies are good once you're a little more comfortable, because it saves a couple seconds each kill, and that can add up. And this is the last example of a clean kill that I will show. Um, the next couple will involve me intentionally making a lot of mistakes to show you just how comfortable a method is and what to do when something goes wrong. Um, I promise all these are intentional, except for one, and I'm going to let you guys figure out which one it is. I will also be showing off how to recover um, and what to do when you take a 50 plus melee hit. Um, the biggest tip I can give you is just, again, camp high health and be constantly prepared to take that hit. Um, it's kind of difficult to get hit twice in a row if you know what you're doing, but I'm going to show a couple clips where I do not skip a hit and I end up tanking two or maybe even three hits before I do so. With that said, there are a lot of times that the cycle will fix itself without having to do anything, and there are also a lot of times where you're not going to get hit in the first place. Um, again, this is a very comfortable method. It's very mistake-friendly. If you're not sure if you're getting hit, just pray every time you hit the southwest and the northeast corners just to be sure. I have this clip labeled as Classic Rookie. Um, you'll see that I do not click fast enough in that corner. Um, it's delayed. I take a melee hit here, and then you'll see I don't do anything to correct it. Um, if you take a hit in that corner, it's not going to fix itself unless you um, skip a hit. Now, I tried to take a big melee hit there, but it didn't work. Um, again, the cycle will not fix itself. And this is kind of why I've labeled it Classic Rookie, you know, where you don't really know what's going on, so you just keep doing it. And it is not working, but it's kind of working at the same time. Again, you'll see I keep my health pretty high here. Um, I'm going to take another melee hit in this corner because I haven't fixed it or, you know, a range hit again. I'm just trying to take 150, and it's not happening. The nice thing about making a mistake like that is I'm not going to get attacked in the other corner ever again. Um, it's just kind of a weird phenomenon that happened in the cycle. And then while trying to break it even more, I actually end up getting the kill. So here I end up making a pretty big mistake, and this one does get me hit, finally. Uh, but you'll see that even though it's kind of going poorly, I'm very high health the next time he hits me and I'm able to combo eat through every single hit. Now, there I finally skip a hit, so the cycle resets and I'm good to go at this point. But I could have also skipped one, and probably should have skipped one, um, as soon as I hit that northeast corner. As you saw, I got hit again there, and if I'd skipped that hit, I would not have gotten hit three times. 
this is an example of a time where the cycle just goes out and fixes itself. Um, you'll see that I'm going to make a mistake, and I'm going to take one hit right after I leave that northeast corner. This happens as a result of me going to the wrong tile. And at this point, even with all these extra mix clicks, it's going to fix itself. Um, you shouldn't rely on this happening, but sometimes get lucky with it. So in the last couple of trip, I decided just to start messing around. I had way too much food left, and even with all these mistakes, I was still doing very well. The first thing I tried to do was I tried to recreate the error where you start moving too soon when you skip the hit and you get to the corner. Unfortunately, about as you're about to see, I'm going to mistime it. <laughs> so I can't even uh, mess up making a mistake. However, I do end up taking a hit here, and um, the cycle will, oddly, eno oddly enough, it fixes itself on this one. I'm not quite sure why it happened. Typically, we'll get hit in that northeast corner when that happens. And at this point, I still had way too much food. Now, you'll see I double eat on that corner. Um, this means I only have to miss one hit. If I double eat, say, right here, I'm going to miss not only that next hit, but the one after it. And here, this is a good example of just how badly you can click and still not get punished. Um, too hard. Um, I don't get a chance at any point. A lot of the times everything kind of just fixes itself and even with some really colossal mistakes I'm doing quite fine. You'll see I still have plenty of food and this is the end of a trip uh, where I have intentionally made a lot of mistakes. <laughs> nice range hit. Now just to wrap up um, Again, the more flicks you do while killing the minions, the better off you are. I would highly recommend trying to flick the mage and the range minions. You'll see, you'll see here they're attacking at the same time. Uh, this doesn't happen too frequently, but it's a little annoying when it does. Um, the range minion hits the most, the mage minion has the second most. The melee minion is honestly kind of weak, especially if you're wearing, you know, say a tank helmet. Um, I, and throughout this entire trip, you'll see I did get one restore drop and I probably would have run out, or been on the verge of running out, um, had I not gotten it. But with that said, I'm also camping Eagle Eye, so, you know, I'm kind of wasting a lot of prayer there. Um, as soon as I got that drop, I stopped flicking Eagle Eye in general and just started camping it while killing the minions. If you have any questions on anything that you want clarified or anything I didn't cover, um, please just ask. There should be a guide on some of the more advanced stuff coming within the next month or so. I'm kind of busy but we'll see when I get to it. I'd like to give one last shout out to Divine Valor, which is a top-notch social clan. Uh, we have a long history back to the early days of the game, and we have very diverse membership. Um, everything from max completionists to people struggling to get to their first fire cape and wearing combat bracelets at 120 combat. I'm a mentor in the clan. I spend a lot of time teaching people raids and occasionally making stuff like this. I will put the link to our Discord in the description. Feel free to join and check us out if you are looking for a clan to join or you just want to be a part of a fun community.